Woman began filming a pregnant beggar and would soon learn her secret. Homelessness is a sad and widespread social issue that many encounter daily. But the sighting of this pregnant beggar would lead one stranger to make some startling revelations. There's nothing more heart-wrenching than witnessing the suffering of another human being. Homelessness and panhandling are a silent epidemic in the United States. According to a report conducted by the National Alliance to End Homelessness, the percentage of those who are destitute has increased by almost 1% in the last year. Each night, roughly 550,000 people find themselves without shelter, warmth, and food each and every night. Encountering poverty is something most Americans come face to face with every day. And while many still show those less fortunate than themselves compassion with kind words and donations, there are many who turn to denial. Many have become desensitized to this suffering, yet some people are impossible to ignore, such as this desperate young woman. It's one thing to find yourself alone on the streets. It's entirely another hardship to be pregnant without food and shelter. Given her obvious vulnerable situation, there were few passers-by that did not acknowledge the struggling mother. The woman in question was standing outside a big shopping center in San Diego in 2014, clearly in desperate need of help. The woman held a sign pleading for help and spare change. She stood with her young son and her swollen baby. But passing strangers could never know that this woman was not only carrying one child, she was also harboring a dark secret. Melissa Smith prides herself on being a moral and compassionate human being. The San Diego woman was passing by the pregnant mother. Seeing her pleading eyes, her helpless condition, and the young child by her side, Smith knew she couldn't simply pass the woman without seeing what she could do to help. Smith commented on her emotional response to seeing the woman in an interview in 2014. I felt so bad. There's a pregnant lady with a little boy and is down on her luck. The dad comes out on the weekends and stands with them. How could she offer assistance? Devastatingly, those who find themselves on the street commonly resort to begging for money. According to findings, these men and women survive on little more than $15 a day. While many use their gains to get help from local shelters and buy food, there are others who spend their money on more sinister pursuits. Drugs and alcohol are often used as a means of escape, numbing their feelings of depression and helplessness. Desperation can make people resort to extreme measures. Some of these beggars are con men who prey on the kindness of strangers. In 2014, a couple from Sacramento who was found by the local police allegedly made $350 in mere hours. Another beggar from Oklahoma reportedly made more than $60,000 in a single year. A 2001 study found that 70% of Toronto-based beggars would rather find minimum wage work than beg on the streets. A study concluded that the average haul made by local beggars was roughly $300 a month. With many beggars who have children to provide for, that amount is not nearly enough to supply a family with food and shelter. In a strange finding, there are many people who, although offered a way out, voluntarily choose to stay on the streets. Some homeless people are comfortable with their position and reliant on the criminal activity and drugs that have trapped them with their dire circumstances. While some beggars are passive, others often resort to aggression and harassment. Though it's understandable that many will do anything to get by, the nature of begging can often be darkly deceptive. Lies are told, cons are executed, and children are exploited to increase their gains. Beggars in India are commonly known to deliberately mutilate themselves in order to elicit more sympathy from the public. Aggressive panhandling, as it's legally come to be known, has caused a divide among lawmakers. Some view this type of begging as unlawful deception, extortion, and harassment. Others believe that the Constitution allowing free speech offers the homeless the right to beg, that laws prohibiting panhandling is the criminalization of homelessness, and that these laws are discriminatory and unjust. But the case of the pregnant woman would prove to be unexpectedly different. As Melissa Smith entered the local gas station and caught sight of the woman, she became distinctly aware of the pregnant beggar. As she watched the woman and her young child, she would soon see a bizarre and surprising sight. After watching for a few minutes, Smith saw a man join the begging woman. The man was presumably her partner. Bizarrely, the begging pair soon walked to a nearby side street and got into a car. Smith saw that the pair were driving what appeared to be a new Mercedes-Benz. Smith was shocked. 
but the sighting would only become more surprising as Smith watched on the pair soon stopped at a red light to Smith's shock the pregnant woman soon pulled out a wad of dollars while counting the stack of money the couple appeared to be laughing Melissa added lo and behold they were in front of us and here they are counting money laughing their little boys not in a car seat or seatbelt he's all the way in the front seat with them Melissa soon decided to follow the couple curious to see where they were headed with their haul Smith was willing to give the couple the benefit of the doubt she hoped it was all a misunderstanding but the situation would only get more and more shocking as Melissa watched on the couple continued with their now obvious deception as the man parked the Mercedes the woman got out of the car with her son and set up shop at another curb within a short five minutes strangers began handing the woman money Melissa then decided to document the two by taking a series of photos with her phone the pregnant woman soon noticed Melissa soon the situation would turn violent the pregnant woman's face darkened and to her shock Melissa soon found herself in danger she recalls next thing I know she picks up this big boulder goes over her head I don't know if pregnant people can do that but it was pretty big over her head and coming at me with this rock luckily an eyewitness watched the terrifying interaction take place the bystander immediately called 911 but the woman would make a hasty escape by the time the local police arrived the pregnant woman and her son had fled the scene Smith recalls she grabs her little boy and takes off through the middle of the parking lot the story would make the local news stories quickly spread recounting the beggars violent actions and deceptive con another local San Diego resident named Rebecca Smith recognized the panhandler when images were shown of the interaction on the news Rebecca called the authorities and reported that she'd seen the suspect but this time she wasn't only accompanied by her partner the woman stood at a local street corner along with her partner as the man held a sign pleading for change the still pregnant woman stood holding a small baby in her arms the news station that had initially covered the dark story would soon take action after receiving the couple's location Emily Valdez who was working for the local news station received the tip of the couple's whereabouts from Rebecca Smith she made her way to the location along with a camera crew Valdez approached the woman and presented her with a photograph that was taken by Melissa Smith she asked whether she was the woman pictured the beggars curt response was simply no speak English Valdez refused to accept the woman's reply she continued to press the couple soon turning to the woman's partner she spoke to the man in Spanish inquiring about the luxurious Mercedes he was driving the agitated man denied the allegations and feigned confusion and innocence the couple then began speaking to one another in a different language and made a hurried exit once again they fled the scene the determined Valdez would not give up she and the camera crew began to follow the couple and their children she eventually caught up with the pair in another confusing revelation the couple soon got into an entirely different car a new minivan the children Valdez noted were not wearing their seatbelts and appeared to be in clear danger authorities soon ran images of the woman by a facial recognition expert he found that there was an 80% chance between the woman who viciously attacked Melissa Smith and who was photographed inside the Mercedes-Benz and the woman who was apprehended by Emily Valdez in this day and age these bizarre stories are often shared on social media platforms the story soon went viral amongst those online YouTube footage of the mysterious couple has now been viewed over six million times the viewers generate mixed responses some were sympathetic while others were appalled one viewer commented that just gives the people who are actually in need of money a bad rap another shocking revelation would soon come to light the mercedes-benz license plate was registered to a local woman who was supposedly living mere blocks away from the location of her initial sighting it was discovered that the woman was not homeless she lived in an apartment and managed to pay two thousand five hundred dollars rent every month according to the surrounding neighbors once news of the story had reached the world the criminal couple had already moved out of the residence the case of the deceptive pair has now reached a standstill questions remain unanswered and local authorities have not been able to discover the new location of the couple sadly many are still concerned over the well-being of the children this couple has also done a great disservice to those honest men and women who are truly in need of a helping hand while this case proves that some people rely on dishonesty and exploitation to make ends meet it's important to remember that many who find themselves in dire circumstances do need help and deserve kindness from more fortunate strangers be compassionate you might save a person's life